Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have a Heath kit, SB220 here. This thing is very sick. I'm going to go over some of uh, the issues here real quick. Someone added the soft start board. They like hot glued it in. The resistor on this side blown apart. Someone replaced the one on this side. I'm going to pull that out. It's not needed. Transformers are wound where the, the inrush current's limited. So this is not needed. And this is what happens if you have some sort of short, any sort of short upon start if you blow the resistors up. And then the user has to take it all apart and change them. So I uh, disconnected the windings to test the filament transformer seems like it's okay uh, the 100 milliamp winding I'm gonna clean all this up resolder it uh, MOVs I'm gonna take those out uh, something happened here where it looks like it arced for some reason and uh, blew the wire open I don't know what the heck happened uh, you know so someone added a cap to try to lower the feed through SWR it's got the soft key installed Replace this wire here or they have electrical tape. I'll take these spade connections off and run a new wire to the breakers and solder it. I don't like those connectors at the breakers. So uh fan needs to be replaced. I'm waiting on that. It just moves in and out, so that's gonna be noisy. Grades are already grounded on this. Bias modification has not been done. Needs a band switch, 10 meter contact on one side is blown apart. I'm going to take these parasitic suppressors out, replace them, change the plate blocking cap. The air variables look okay. It's got the Harbach metering board already, a Harbach filter cap board. It has the Hammond Peter Dahl transformer. I'm hoping that everything's wired properly. I just don't know what happened with this thing just yet. It's got these this vernier drive set up. I thought it was neat at first, but it, it's not supported, you know, by standoffs to the front panel. It's just supported by the shafts, which isn't good because now you're putting pressure on the shafts. And it's actually crooked. It's cocked out, so it's putting more pressure on one shaft than the other. The problem with that is you have the shaft that goes through like a thing at the end, which gives it its ground on one end. And... You can actually spread those fingers that grip around the shaft and then you can end up with a bad connection on the air variable to ground. So I'm most likely going to remove these and put the proper knobs on, which I have here. Standby operate switch. It's kind of, you know, I'm going to clean that up. It's not, not good. It's right here, it's over there, and uh, passes right by the output. From the band switch it just uh lots of little things to take care of so i wanted to shoot a quick video and uh, i'm going to get to work the transformer protrudes out the side but he's still able to get the side cover on also he had to cut the top panel to get it to fit you know there's really no need for this it's it's you know if you have a stock one you're not going to gain enough phone call so I'll call him back so okay I'm gonna get to work see you guys soon stay tuned okay so I'm back with the completed amplifier remove those vernier drives they weren't supported to the front panel one of the shafts was cocked sideways uh, he didn't want to do the band switch one contact on the 10 meter selection is damaged uh, with the cost of everything else, he just uh, didn't want to do it. So, the transformer had to be replaced. He purchased this online, and when he got the amplifier, he wired it for 120, and the meter lamp started to smoke. So when I got it, I checked to make sure he had it wired correctly. He did. And I went and I plugged it in. Without even turning it on, the meter, amp meter lamps would illuminate a little bit. So... Come to find out the transformer wasn't wired properly on the primary side, so I rewired it the right way and it worked fine on CW slash tune, but on the other setting it which is bang in the corner of the meter. 
movement. It would just boom, you know, so so it had issues. I ended up replacing it, put a stock one in, good stock one. Air variables are good. I cleaned the band switch and the input rotor switch with deoxid gold, changed the plate blocking cap, got my test tubes in here. Uh, he's getting a new set of pentalab tubes. Uh, fan is okay, didn't have to change that. Already had the Harpock meter board, Harpock filter cap board. Took the outer nuts off, tightened the inner nuts. It had diodes in here, they're not needed, so I removed them because it has safety diodes on the Harbach metering board. Already had the series glitch resistor right here. I like putting it over here because you end up eliminating a choke, so I just left that as it was. Had those crazy anode caps, I got rid of those. Uh, they do more harm than good. Uh, I explained why in another video. Rewound to parasitic suppressors, had some funky ones in here. Check the SU239 connectors. Change the meter lamp bulbs. New meter lamp bulbs in here. And uh, that's about it. I'll uh, show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so I changed the circuit breakers. One was damaged. When I replace them, I always make sure the tabs. See, they're, they're offset closer to one side. They're not centered, so I always put, I always orient it so the tabs are further away from the chassis for the bottom one, and then further away from the cabinet for the top one. I had to pull out the strain relief and pull some more cord in because I had to cut and strip it. So that's all soldered really well. Change the terminal strip. You know, this one was damaged. Everything soldered well. Put in new solid wires. It's configured for 120. New diode, new electrolytic cap, got rid of that soft start, was all sorts of damaged and it's not needed. Um, soldered and heat shrunk all the wires to the switch over here. Did the bias modification, added Teflon wire for the standby operator switch. I have thousands of feet of it, that's why I use it. I added some ferrite to stop RF from getting into the soft keyboard, which was already there. Zip tied everything. And uh, that's about it for the bottom. So this hole is already here. So, you know, I wanted to say something. If you put one of those, if you put a different transformer in here and you raise the, the uh, plate voltage, you're just asking for problems. You're just going to end up arcing the plate tune air variable. And trying to get it to do more power is a big mistake. Uh, it's rated for 1200 PEP. You get the thing to do 15, 16, 17, 18, whatever, 100 watts. No one's going to notice the difference, because in order to gain half an ES S unit, you have to double your output. No one's going to notice a half S unit difference anyway, so just stick with the stock, stock transformer or one rated for the same amount. It doesn't make sense to go crazy. You're just going to regret it, and uh, you'll need repairs, and it'll just cost you more money, more downtime, more headaches. So this thing is all set, all ready to go. I also bent the floor back a bit uh, because it was just really bent up bad. So, so thanks for watching. Website is ampreparegar.com. That's 203, and my phone number is 203-892-4119. I don't know if I mentioned it before.